Princess Pro Tips. Upvote, bookmark, like, and subscribe. So why'd Pip want to see us? Zip shrugged as she hovered along. Maybe she just wants an excuse to hit on Hitch. Sunny snorted. Her and half the ponies in Maritime Bay. But I don't think she'd call us all just for that, though. Aha! There you are, Mare of the Hour. Pip petals fluttered above them, waving them through the door. Come in! Come on, we have a lot to get through and I don't know how long to get through it. Sunny rolled her eyes as she stepped through. <laughs> hey, Hitch. Any issues in the office? Oh, you know, returning things that were stolen during the panic, repairing the damage to the town, uninstalling all the candle logic emplacements. The stallion clacked his hoof. Oh, that reminds me. Zip, could you make sure the Pegasus I know the unicorn traps aren't landing pads? I thought it'd be obvious, but after 15 incidents on the same day- Sorry, Sheriff, it's a speed challenge. Zip explained. Hit the trap and launch off before it snaps. I'll let him know, but it's not gonna stop anytime soon. <sighs> and I thought Sunny made my job difficult. That explains the empty traps, though. How many were there? Twelve incidents. <sighs> Trat. Zip grinned. I only did ten. Hitch leveled a flat look at her, preparing to launch into its rod when Izzy Moonbow rolled through the door. Ta-da! Izzy! Sunny laughed. So that's where my roller skates went off to. Why aren't you wearing a helmet, though? A what? Sunny's smile frowned. A uh, helmet. It's a sort of shell that protects your head. Like a hat? Psh! Izzy spun around. Why would I hide this amazing mane? Because head injuries can be dangerous and seriously mess with your senses. Sunny said slowly. A brain injury can even cause problems in balance or... thinking. What? Ugh, don't be silly. Unicorns have been pecking through wood with our horns for ages. And we're all good brain pawns. Sunny carefully shared a look with Hitch. Ahem. <clears throat> Pip cleared her throat. If we're all done realizing that Bridalwood unicorns need a lot of TLC, I'd like to actually get to what I called you all here for. It's super important. Oh, she's capitalizing. Zip noted. All right. Sunny gestured for her to go on. We're listening, Pip. Pip whipped her hoof to point at her. You, Sunny Star Scout, you are the pony that single-hoofedly faced all odds to do the impossible. Bring back magic. Well, I didn't do it alone. Doesn't matter. That's what ponies will think. Pip shrugged. At least for a while. And even after the real story gets out, you're still going to be the most famous pony in all the land. Sunny opened her mouth, paused, and carefully shut it. I... I hadn't thought about that. I know you haven't. You have a good heart, and you only wanted to bring friendship to the land. Pip sighed. Zip and I, on the other hand, we've been famous all our lives. We know how to handle that sort of attention. Or, well, I do. Zip knows how to avoid it. Eh, harsh but fair. Zip admitted. So, since you and all the rest of us are now big time famous, we're going to cover the basics on parasocial relationships and responsible interactions with other ponies. Rule number one. Pip put on an uncharacteristically serious face. Your fans cannot be your friends. Sunny blinked. What? Oh, here we go. Zip muttered to herself. B but they're ponies! Sunny protested. I, I literally lived my whole life to bring all ponies together! Up, up, up. Pip held up a hoof. I'm not saying that your fans are your enemies. Heck, they should never be your enemies. That's what we call cancel culture. She shuddered. It's what took our dad from us. Oh. Sunny's shoulders sagged. I'm... Sorry for your loss, I... My father died, so I know what it's like to- Dad's not dead. Zip stated flatly. We just can't ever be seen with him in public again. What? That let us leave was not his fault! Pip choked back a sob. I know he screwed up, but- She took a deep breath, shutting her eyes and wiping away a tear. Perky Pip. Ponies prefer Perky Pip. Promise pretty petals, Pip. Sunny leaned back warily. It can't really be that bad, can it? Let me put it this way. You know how Mom was the Queen of Zephyr Heights? Zip asked. Yeah. You know how after the flight strings were revealed that they threw her in jail? Sunny cringed. Yeah? That's cancel culture. I mean, a pretty extreme form of cancel culture, but... You shouldn't have to worry about that. Pip reassured Sunny. Because you actually did bring back magic with some help, sure. But your fame is based on facts, not views. Still, point remains. Fans can't be your friends. They can become your friends, but at that point, they're not your fans anymore. Sunny frowned. I don't... I don't get it. Pip shrugged. Yeah, I thought you wouldn't. So, let me give you an example. Hitch, come stand over here, please. Hitch blinked, walking over warily. Uh, sure? Pip gestured at him with a hoof. Hitch Trailblazer? She gestured at the calendar next to him. Hitch Trailblazer. Hitch Trailblazer! 
Izzy added, putting a macaroni sculpture of Hitch on the desk. Same pony, right? Sunny nodded. Of course. Wrong! Pip jabbed a hoof at Hitch. This is Hitch Trailblazer the pony. Perfectly ordinary. He eats, he sleeps, he has a secret hoof shake, and sure he's got awesome abs, but you can bet that they don't come magically formed. It takes a proper diet and workout, Hitch confirmed. But this? Pip pointed at the calendar. This is Sheriff Hitch, the Law Manifest, here to bring order and protection to Maritime Bay. Does he eat? Only when he needs to. Does he sleep? That's insanity! He's a glowing beacon to the entire town. Uh, and this! She whips her hoof around. This is, uh, a creative expression of my positive feelings towards my friend and the changes that he has brought about in my life. Izzy offered. I've actually done one of each of us. I was gonna hand them out after this meeting. Pip's face melted into a soft smile. Oh, Izzy, that's so sweet. Thank you. Sis? Zip flicked her eyes to Sunny. You wanna, uh... <gasps> right, right, right. Pip put back on her serious face. To us, Sunny. You're Sunny Star Scout, the Earth Pony. And our friends. And that means a lot. But to your fans, you are Sunny Star Scout. Friendship reborn, founts of magic, unifier of the tribes. There's two Sunnies, is what I'm saying. There's one sitting here, and the icon. Well, okay. Sunny allowed. I can get that I have an image, somehow, but I'm not understanding what it has to do with my fans not being my friends. Pip sighed, and then her ears pricked up. Your dad, he told you stories about the ponies of old, right? Yeah. And there was one, a friendship princess or something? Yeah. Tell me about her. Pip prompted. Well, she... she was the leader of a group of heroes. Sunny began. Earth ponies, Pegasi, and unicorns all working together to save the world. And she was... Super smart. She knew about the magic of all the tribes, and her friends were pretty cool too. Like, like there was this Pegasus that could fly fast enough to make rainbow explosions, and this Earth Pony that made the best cupcakes, and a unicorn who could turn back time. Pip nodded. One of them burped once. Sunny blinked. What? Another one just had the worst pets. Pip continued. Absolute menace. Now hang on, and like, I'm pretty sure there was one time the princess woke up with a terrible ped mane and couldn't get it looking right all day. S stop Sonny said. You don't know that, any of that! Of course not. Pip admitted with a shrug. But they're just ponies. I mean, it's pretty likely that everything I said was true. Th that's that's not the point! They're my heroes, they're the ponies I've looked up to all my life. Slowly, realization began to dawn on Sunny's face. I'm not saying that you couldn't be their friend, Sunny. If they suddenly reappeared somehow, I honestly think that you could. But you'd have to get used to, well, them being ponies, not icons. Pip's voice was solemn as she landed. And that's the position that you're in right now. Some fans, maybe, they'll become your friends. Some very important ponies, too. But you're starting off with a lot of power, and not much emotional connection. You have to be careful, understand? For their sake? And for your own. Oh. Sunny sagged. Hey. Zip put a hoof on her shoulder. It's not that bad. You've got real friends in this room. And hey, there'll be ponies who aren't bedazzled by the whole found of magic thing. Yeah, I guess. I just... Sunny shook her head. I didn't think that this would be... like that, you know? Lots to get used to. It agreed. Still, if you can get used to it... Well, I have to admit. He struck a pose. I'm a pretty big fan of Sheriff Hitch myself. Yeah, I kinda like him too. Pip agreed. Of course I met the pony underneath first, so... She waggled a hoof non-committally. Anyway, I was going to give you all the tips now, but I'm looking at you and I'm realizing that this was kind of a major bomb to drop, so yeah, meeting over. We'll talk about everything else later. Yeah. Sunny took a breath. Still, I brought the ponies back together. And I'm going to keep trying to do that. Spreading the message of friendship across the world to my fans. That's great! I can get you a cloud setup later. You know, once Maritime sets up a network. Hitch frowned. Wait, if Pegasi couldn't fly, then how could you still work with clouds? Oh no, not literal clouds. Virtual clouds. It's this whole thing. Zip explained, standing up. See, we've got a sort of lightning-based network. Ooh! As he hopped into a chair. Tell us, tell us, tell us! Sunny watched on as the Pegasi explained things like lightning sand, light weaving, and radio waves. She took a moment to put a hoof to the symbol that hung from her neck, the six-pointed star that had guided her way. And slowly, she smiled again. I wonder if what they were saying, like the lightning sand or whatever, is like the equivalence of fiber optics. 
Or maybe they have cloud servers that are literal clouds. Man, the possibilities are endless. But other than that, this was very sweet and a nice little thing to learn. Now let's hop on over to our knowledgeable donators. Top donators Peter Coltard, J Tin Man, Darkseid, Gauntlet, and only one thing. Zar630, Strix, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Pastel Skies, Austin Rowland, Crazy Color 557, Stu Hex, Will, Omicron Lyre, Dospo, Delta Omega, Jack Hedge, Runescythe9852, Madman Stan, Leslie Perkett, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, Line God 12, Sorcerer Constantine, Hud Zaza, and many more fabulous people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.